Hello, I'm KOEL's Roger King. I would like to take this time to honor a man who put in so much of his life into this station, Dick Petrick. Dick passed away Wednesday night with family at his side. Dick began work at KOEL in 1952 and remained at the station as news director for 41 years. He semi-retired in 1992, but worked part-time as his health would permit. Dick was a household name in Northeast Iowa known far and wide for fighting and broadcasting local news. He'd rise early every day to bring the morning news to everyone locked onto AM 950 on their radio dial. I have never known a man to be so dedicated and diligent to his work. He took so much pride in the station, a station he made great through his own work. Dick has been honored by virtually every media organization in the Midwest. He was the first person to win the prestigious Jack Shelley Award in 1972, the Iowa Broadcast News Association's highest honor, marking outstanding contribution to broadcast journalism in Iowa. The IBNA has also established the Dick Petrick Outstanding Student Award, given annually to a college student who shows outstanding potential for a career in electronic media journalism. Dick is not only known locally and regionally, but his work has also been noted in numerous publications, using Dick as an example of what a small market news director should be. Everyone knew Dick. When he would use the phone to track down a news story, he only had to refer to himself as Dick. They knew who they were talking to. Seems everyone who knew Dick has a story to tell, some funny, some very serious, about how he reported and lived through the tornado that devastated the town years ago. Bobby called a church that was on fire, only to talk to one of the firefighters who obliged him with a story while he was still battling the blaze. And Dick was friends to all. Dick seemed to know everybody, and everybody knew Dick. He would lovingly refer to his female co-workers and correspondents as honey, which would always gain him favor. When he came on the air, listeners were treated to what they knew would be the latest in local news, with sometimes a unique perspective on what took place. Dick used to tell us it wasn't news until you heard it on KOEL. He was also an influence on in countless broadcasters who worked with him or just had the opportunity to listen to him do a newscast. On a personal note, Dick was the one who urged me to pursue a career in news. It was also encouraging to anyone who approached him asking advice on their career in radio and followed their progress, taking much pride when one of his former protégés would do good. Dick took many young news broadcasters under his wing, shaping them and directing them. Dick would continue to critique KOEL after his retirement, giving his criticism of what he heard on the air and still offering encouragement to everyone involved in the station. Dick, in simple terms, was the father figure of the station. We looked up to him, respected him, and he taught and guided us. But KOEL was not all that Dick Petrick was all about. He put much work into local organizations such as the Lions Club and was a vehement supporter of old wine in Northeast Iowa in general. He was also an avid golfer, would love to take friendly wagers with his colleagues on the sporting events he would so love to follow, especially the Iowa Hawkeyes and all the Detroit professional teams. Most of all, he was a family man. He would take great pride in talking about his children and grandchildren and their accomplishments, as well as his loving wife Vivian. A big reason why everyone respected Dick was that he respected us. And we note that now with loving respects to someone who will live on in our hearts. Dick Petrick, we know you're listening. We hope you approve of what you hear. Thank you for your contributions, your work, your guidance, and just for being you. You will be remembered.